All right, Shalom. Shalom. We're going to start out by giving all praise, praises and glory to Yahweh, 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 Double honors to the elders and the apostles for teaching us this truth. Bless to the brothers pushing the word throughout the four corners. Peace and blessings unto the elect that scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. All right. And we got a lesson going into uh, pretty much that chasing that bag has a terrible ending, man. Okay? Chasing that bag has a terrible ending. And pretty much that's what you got in America right now. That's the trend. Chase that bag. Get to the money. You know? I mean, ain't nothing but ain't nothing make me happier than, than getting money, pretty much. That's the spirit heavily being pushed out here. Not knowing that money is just a defense. And not knowing that you're really still in captivity. So the things that you try to enjoy on this side or try to flex with on the gram or anything is really gonna backfire towards you. You know? But it's say uh, uh place your uh, your heart you know, you setting out your heart upon things on earth but things in heaven. Yeah. You see where, where things break through and steal. You know? Hey, Jay can't have nothing, man. You can't enjoy nothing on this side. So why try to? Why force your way to, pretty much? Hey, let's go ahead and get the precept of uh, Matthew. Yeah, this is Matthew 16, starting 24. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then said, Yahweh shot unto his disciples. If any man come, if any man would come after me, let him deny himself. Right, if and any man would come after me, let him deny himself. What you got to deny? Hey, Romans 12 and 1. You got to give up your body to live a sacrifice. You really got to deny this world. <clears throat> you see that Western civilization type mindset. That piggy fence, big house, nice car, you know, bad woman. Yeah. That completes me. No life. Right. He said, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Mm -hmm. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. Right. And whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. Right, and whosoever shall lose his life for my sake, you know, give up this world, deny this world. But they say they love not their lives unto death, man. They're talking about his saints. You see? Uh, Baba Kasha. Keep going? Yeah, keep going on it. Keep going. All right. Just keep going. Um, verse 26, Matthew 16, 26. For what is a man profited if he should gain the whole world? And lose his own soul. Mm. Right. So here it is. You trying to, what it say, envy not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. So you looking at the Edomites and you think, well, shit, they living, they living good. I want to live good too. Yeah. You know, not knowing that you would yet this day in your captivity yeah. Yeah. and that the curses follow you everywhere you go. You are under the curses. Mm -hmm. yeah, if you get money, you got a bag full of hoes. Yeah. Yeah. You labor and have no, no rest. You see? God. So he said, for what is a man profited if we should gain the whole world mm -hmm. and lose his own soul? Right. Or what should a man give in exchange for his soul? So the end of the they said, and what do it benefit if you gain the whole world but lose your own soul? Mm -hmm. Is anything worth more than your soul? Right. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what is, wait, what that, uh, that man did in uh, Matthew? He said, I got, I got goods, I got this, I got that. And the Lord said, Thou fool, thou soul should be required. See, Jake don't understand that your life is like a vapor, man. You know? Your soul is precious unto the Lord. If you don't have a soul, man, you ain't got nothing to live for. You pretty much just a walking dead. Yeah, you have the spirit of the Lord. Right. Yeah. That's why when you look at these celebrities that sell out, right. they pretty much miserable. Right. You know? They miserable. They can't um, keep mirrors in their house. They can't look at themselves. Yeah. You used to look at some celebrities. Now... I forgot to do. We got a blonde wig on, oh, you know. They got the Wu Tang. Wu Tang. I want to tell my hell. I know uh, the brother Priest of Bayer. He has done a lesson on. Uh, I don't. You know. He, he irrelevant anyway. But you right. see, these guys that sell out, you know, especially in this Hollywood industry, the actors, they got to bend over, they kiss each other, <laughs> you know, doing the movies. Mm -hmm. You can tell, man, that these guys sold out. Why for the money's sake? Right. If it's if it like they got money on this side, you know, lots of money, millions of dollars, most likely, 100%, they bend over and did some wicked, a wicked act, you know? Mm -hmm. well, you got it. I get that proverb. All right, this is Proverbs chapter 11, starting at verse 28. Mm -hmm. It says, he that trusted in his riches shall fall. See, he that trusted in riches shall fall. So now, guess what? Now your soul gone, what you left with? Uh, material things. 
So now you on Facebook Live, Instagram Live. Now you showing out money. You poop shots to spread. Yeah. Cause, but you really empty in the inside, man. Yeah. You were you miserable pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Told you. Now it backfired. So now you think selling your soul and getting all these riches was going to just complete you. It didn't. It destroyed you. It made you worse. Because most celebrities they set up. I wish I was just an average citizen, a, a normal right. person. I yeah. wish I wasn't famous. And, you know, you see it. You see it. You got all the money in the world, and that's how you feel. That is beautiful because that's what uh, now you be like bad way talking about. I want to go to prom. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> you know, you, you like, bro, you, you got millions of dollars. You can you can do whatever you want, right? You can buy plenty of proms. You can do plenty of proms if you want to. Yeah. You can do one in Manchester, you can go you can host one. Yeah, right, you can host. host one, you can go to a Caribbean island and have one. Yeah. What you crying for now? Cause it hurts, man. Yeah. Hey, you know you now you understand that what? <laughs> you 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 living to die pretty much. Yeah, and plus Jay got a conscience. That's how we know that it is like they got a conscience. And they've been trying to what give it back, but they can't. This is back in Proverbs eleven and twenty eight. He that trusted in his riches right. shall fall, mm -hmm. right. but the righteous shall flourish as a branch. Mm -hmm. Is it right there? Hey, read four. Uh, uh, jumping and you up still got Bible 2 and 10. It says, <laughs> riches profit not in the day of wrath. See, that's what everybody ain't understanding to. I'm coming to the understanding of that the Lord is about to approach the earth. Mm -hmm. Even those that pierce him got to see the Lord. So here it is, you sitting in here, the Lord for you. That lesson we did, FUBU, yeah. for us, by us. Right. Here it is, he comes to save the nation of Israel. He coming to deliver us. But you out here having a party. You on punishment trying to turn up. Right. <laughs> you at the club throwing money. You you got diamonds and shit. You sagging to your pants. You, you, you uh, uh, Amari, Javinci, Gucci. <laughs> yeah. You got everything, man. Prada. They just living it out. Track Hawks, Hellcat, Durango's. You, you just turned, man. You just living life, but you're not paying attention that the Lord is coming to bring wrath upon the earth. But he did not watch it. I'll watch, watch it. it. You know, but ain't no one with throwing money, you know, woo the woo. <laughs> but it's how you do it. It's right. timing. Right. It's a timing focus for everything. Yeah. Pretty much. You know? You know, you can wear the Javinci, you know. You know, you can, you know Jake. Jake got style. Jake won't look good. Yeah. It says, according to that ability, do good on to that stuff. <laughs> right. So we coming to a time now that, hey, if you ain't been watching and repenting and pleasing the Lord, all before that, uh, the, uh, when shit hit the fan, it's over. Yeah, right. That's what the brother's going into, man. But uh, she that living in pleasure, dead while she living. The same thing with our people. They living in pleasure. It's what living in the flesh we, we went into. They call them. You're fresh. You're yeah. What you feeding, you know, pretty much. So, guess what? When that day come, man, you're going to have to uh, uh, use whatever you've been studying and putting you know, your yep. your time until you had to use them for the day of evil. The yeah. day of wrath. That's why I say the Lord telling you off the rip. Read it again, bro. This is Proverbs eleven and four. Riches profit not in the day of wrath. That's right. But righteous yeah. deliver yeah. from death. Yeah. Hey, righteous deliver from death. Mm -hmm. You see? Yeah. Hey, he that follow the commandments shall be what preserved from the said prayers. Mm -hmm. How you gonna hey he didn't hey because he put his trust in me? Come. Uh, because he put his trust in me. Go ahead and get it. Uh, Psalm 91, 3, verse 10. This is Psalm. Because, see, that's what it's really jumping down to. Jake putting his trust. That's what you read in uh, Proverbs 11 and uh, 24, where it say, uh, He that put his trust in riches shall fall. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and get it. Yeah. This is Psalm 91, he said in verse 10. Yeah. This is Psalm 91 and 10. There shall no evil befall thee. Right. Neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. Did you got because he put his trust in me? Uh, I think that's 10, man. Uh, this is, I, yeah, I read 9. This is, says, uh, this is Psalm 91 and 9. Because thou hast made the Lord, which my refuge, mm -hmm. even the most high, thy habitation. Right, because it tell you that riches profit not in the day of wrath. Jake gonna be trying to buy his way into uh, getting saved. You see that on that movie 2012. That Russian had all that money, you know? All those rich and, and high favored people. Hey, they, they ultimately, they was trying to buy their way on the art in, yeah. 20, in that movie uh, 2012. Yep, yep. All right, they were trying to purchase, yeah. you know? Hey, they, got, they had a seat. Some of them had preserved spots already. No, it's not gonna work like that, man. If you don't have, the, number one, you gotta be an Israelite. Oh, first and foremost, 
But number two, if you don't have the wisdom, laws, statutes, and commandments, if you don't have obedience within you, you're going to die pretty much out here now. I just you got to be part of the list. Part of the list. It's a two. This is Psalms 91 and 2. It says, I will say of the Lord, and how will buy shipping, how will shine. He is my refuge and my fortress, my power, in him will I trust. Right, in him will I trust. I won't put it. What you going to put your trust and money for? Hey, I'll jump down to that jump that say, because it's in there. I will uh, show him my salvation. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a bad verse. The water. This is uh, Psalm 91 and 16. It says, With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Right, hey, and that's true riches right there. That's real riches, man. You got to think about the, uh, the the kingdom to come. Mm -hmm. See, it's like for here, we have no continuing city, but we look for one to come. Yep. Get Micah 2 and 10. Yeah, this Micah 2 and 10. A wise ye and depart. But this is not to rest. Right. Because it is polluted. It should destroy you even with a sword destruction. It should destroy you with a sword destruction, man. You know, you can't even go in certain spots. You can't even ride in certain neighborhoods. You can't do nothing, man. Even celebrities go through things when they uh got money. They still get pulled over by the police. <laughs> they still get beat up by bodyguards. Yeah. They still, getting, they still right. being called a nigga. Still being called a nigga or a snitch. Because you, recently you had like 6 9 getting beat up at a weight room yeah. by, by a random dude. Yeah. See, you look, these people losing respect for y'all, man. Y'all don't gain. Look, just because you got rich don't mean that you in the kingdom, man. Just because you got rich, you untouchable. Yeah, I mean, that's, they, they can see that constellation. That's but that's why the scripture say, uh, we're glad to Luke 6. Yeah, if I got you, my brother. I want to say 23, line of 20-something verse. I got you. Okay. This is Luke chapter 6, verse uh, 24. Mm -hmm. I sure got that. I'm going to read 25, too. Are you ahead there? Like, yeah. This is Luke 6 and 24. You good. But woe unto you that are rich. That means destruction. But you have received your constellation. All right. You received your constellation. All right. And it said, Woe unto you that are full, for ye shall hunger. Well, you're going to be starving during the time of Jacob's trouble. Right? Mm -hmm. Physically and spiritually, because the family of the world is coming. That's right. Yeah. You know? Jay get money and be flexing, talking about he eating root crisps. Yeah. He eat steak. Good. Yeah, crab legs on fire. You know? Hey, you're you going to be hungry in that day, man. You see? Yes. Hey, when we got the lick, they going to be, uh, they going to be, right, they going to be taking care of. They said, warn to you that laugh now, for ye shall mourn and weep. You see, you're going to cry, man. A lot of these celebrities, they think everything be funny, too, you know. When somebody uh, reveal to them the truth, they be like, man, you, you cry for, man. You know, you need to, you, you doing too much, man. Give it back to the community. Yeah. Rappers will hop on live, be like, don't get money, though. Yeah. You know, show the chain. Show them, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's dead. That's old. From generation to generation, you just been an entertainment. Until Esau, man, you nothing special when you get money. Like the brother say, you still a nigga. Uh, you got that Mark 16. Mm -hmm. This is Proverbs chapter 30 and verse 8. It says, Remove far from me vanity and lies, mm -hmm. and then give me neither property nor riches. Right. Feed me with food convenient for me. Right, and that's vanity, that's beautiful. You know, even, uh, even Solomon said that hey, I, I know I tried to, you know, know riches and, you know, I, I perceive it pretty much vain, vanity, vexation of the spirit. Yeah. Hey, when you die, hey, you lose it anyway, man. Uh, you can't spend it. You can't spend it when you're gone, man. Yeah, it's gone when you gone. It's beautiful. You almost uh, through with that one. Uh, verse 9, it says, right, Peace I be fool and deny thee. And say, Who is the Lord? Or at least I be poor and still and take the name of my power in vain. And I don't think that's and that's why a lot of these leaders gonna die because when they go up there and they be like, I want to thank God, you actually talking about Satan. But you got the people really fooling that you really, you know, just like the Lord just blessing me and I'm highly favored. You know, you got people talking out their mouth, celebrities talking about they the chosen one. Hey, uh, Kodak Black, for example, man. All right, yeah, you know you're an Israelite, but man, you still out here promote the uh, wickedness, man. 
All right, you still chasing the bag, man. You supposed to be promoting righteousness. Promote nine people that, hey, man, hey, chase you. How about shit be how a shot? Like we telling our people now, exhorting our people now in this lesson to do, man. Hey, because the bag is going to lead to your destruction. Right. Right. But you know these celebrities, they would sit up by the on the, the on the part of the devil, so they ain't gonna come back onto the Lord. You know, it's many examples of these celebrities. Yep. Nick, Nick Cannon, yep. Nick Cannon, Brandon, 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 all of them. Dude. So it's really fuck these celebrities Jackson, at the yeah. end of the day. Because Scripture said we got your own salvation with um, mm -hmm. with fear and trembling. Sure. Man, we can't worry about them. You right. gotta worry about yourself. Right. You know. And and that, Go ahead. I, I was just I was finna add quick point, man. It's beautiful because truth be told, the celebrities they finish. Yeah, they, they, they This message is actually pertaining to those that that, that 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 you know have a chance have a shot at salvation. They're not called for chosen. Yeah. You are chosen, man. Can you read it again? Alright, this is back in uh back in Proverbs chapter thirty mm -hmm. in verse nine. And it reads at least I be full and deny thee. Right, because then we can see with these celebrities. Right. They make it to the top. Before before they make it, they were giving um, glory to yeah. the Lord. Come on, yeah. I want to thank the Lord. You know, they missing the Lord and, his, and their son mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But once they make it to the top, no more of that. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. And it says, and deny thee and say, who is the Lord? Yeah, who is the Lord? I did this on my own. Yeah. That's when pride kick in. Pride is one is, is, one that uh, departed from his mate, and then yeah. his heart pulled out abominations. Right. So now he doing, now he paint his nails. Yeah. Now he got a, a, pur a purse, yeah. man purse, yeah. man bun. You yeah. can't so, tell him that, right? He's, yeah. His a terror, his yeah. attire gonna change. Say, if he knew food could be in for me, you what? Know. Keep me, uh, give me my daily bread, right? right. You know, yeah. I don't want to be rich and I don't want to be poor. Yeah. Balance, balance. Right. That's how you, we ought to be. Like a parcel, parcel. I know I'll be a base. And I'm bound. Yeah, I'm gonna get that mark for you. And it says, Who Anytime. is the Lord? Or at least I be poor and steal. Oh, and that's what happened. Yeah. Niggas become poor and now they want to rob the bank. Yeah. But instead of praying to the Lord, give me my daily bread, right. the Lord go bless your hands. Yeah. Just pray to Yahweh Shah. Yeah. Yeah. More more importantly, the spiritual things, man. Yeah. And it says, and steal and take the name of my power in vain. Exactly. So this is mm -hmm. um Mark. 10 and um, who started? Tony Rock 37 and 6. Uh, he started uh, 17. 17. Mark 10 and 17. And when he was going forth into the way, mm -hmm. there came one wanted and near to him and asked him, Good master, what shall I do that I may inherit eternal life? <laughs> hey, so he inquired about inheriting 20, uh, pretty much eternal life. Yeah. What verse you read out? 17. Okay, 10 and 17. Yep. I don't think about reading the NLT of that. Let me read it. Mm -hmm. It says, Yahweh was starting out on his way to Jerusalem. A man came one up to him, knelt down and asked, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Mm -hmm. So pretty much saying the same, same thing. thing. What Keep can going. I do to uh, receive everlasting life? Right. 18, Yahweh said unto him, in the King James, he said, Yahweh said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one that is the most high. That knows the commandments, do not commit adultery, do not steal, do not bear false witness, defraud not, honor that father and that and murder. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hey, I got the commentary of that too. It's the commentary of Mark 10 in that verse where it say, What should I do to inherit eternal life? Mm -hmm. It said the this from David Guzik. Mm -hmm. It said the focus of the man's question is what shall I do? He thought eternal life was a matter of earning and deserving, not of relationship. As he bowed down on his knees in front of Yahweh Shah, the mere closeness, closeness of that relationship made him closer to salvation than anything he could do. So pretty much, when he was talking to Yahweh Shah, salvation was at the door. That was, that was it right there. He said, what should I do to inherit uh, salvation? You looking at it. Follow me. Then you bowed down. You was you was good. You was good. You were humble. You were humble. Yeah. But your mindset was off His because heart. you thought, yeah, your heart was off. That's kind of like uh dealing with an ex when they think you can buy the Holy Spirit. Uh -huh. See, a lot of these folks think that money. That's why it ain't the money that's wicked. It's you niggas that's yeah. wicked. It's y'all mental towards this shit. That's why the lesson really going into. It really is it's dangerous. It's gonna lead to death. Yeah. That money chasing the bad. That's why it's put like that. Chasing the bad. Leads to death. 
Yeah. You want to chase the bag, you want to have a desire, you want to idol worship it, you want to set it as your first thought. Right. It's the result of it. Yeah. That, 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 that's it. Then, uh, verse 20, Mark 10 and 20. And he answered and said unto him, Master, all these have I observed from my youth. Hmm. You know, I've been keeping the commandments since I was young, you know. Right. Then your house shot, behold him, love him, and said unto him, One thing thou lackest, go thy way, sell whatsoever thou hast, and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven. And come, take up that cross, and follow me. Hmm. He forgot one thing. Get some rock 30, 37 and uh. What is it? Hey, See? Like we uh, open up with Matthew the 16th chapter. Mm -hmm. Follow your cross. Bear your cross and follow him. Mm -hmm. Do what he will lack. Yep. Build the cross and follow the Lord to receive that inheritance. No everlasting life. That's how you receive life. Following the Lord. Following his footsteps. And during the tribulation, uh, so like two and one, you come to the Lord, prepare that heart for temptation. Let's get 11 and 14. This is uh, Sirach 36, chapter 11. I mean, chapter 36, starting to verse 11. It says, uh -uh. Just go ahead and go to Sirach 11 and 14. Oh, Sirach 11 and 14. All right. This is Sirach chapter 11 and verse 14. And it reads, Prosperity and adversity, life and death, poverty and riches come of the Lord. Right. That's what he didn't understand, man. Pretty much all these riches, all these goodies come from your how about Shema Vashah. So why are you worried about, <laughs> uh, 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 you know, basically giving it up? The Lord said, hey, you want to come serve me, pretty much deny. Basically, he was challenged. What your how did was challenge him, like, all right, you okay, you keep the commandment. Well, if you follow me, deny yourself, pretty much. Yeah, give, give everything away. Give everything you away. Mean what, lose all life. Yeah. Right. See? Not knowing that if you forsake God, you're going to receive double fold. Yeah, those that should lose their life for saving. Hey, right. can you help with Matthew uh, 6 and uh, 33? I got you, bro. I'm going to continue in this Mark. Yeah, mm -hmm. Matthew 6 33. It said Mark 10 and 22. And he was said, and he was said at that same way. Right? Face fell down, you know, mm -hmm. you know, depression and shit. It said, and went, and went away grieved, but he had great possessions. Mm -hmm. And Yahweh shall look round about and say unto his disciples, how hard it should they that have riches enter into the kingdom of the most high. Mm. Boy, cause you got <laughs> that's a big sacrifice. Yeah. Yeah. The nigga favorite singing, when they make it to the top, I can't go back, bro. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you know? I don't know what it's like to lose. I can't yeah. lose. Everybody yeah. being there uh, Denzel Washington spirit. Yeah. Train the day. Right. <laughs> It said, and the disciples was astonished at his words, but Yahweh shot else again and said unto them, Children, how hard is it for them that trust in riches to enter into the kingdom of the Most High? Mm. Right. And that's beautiful. Uh, one more commentary. Yep. Uh, Mark 10, uh, dealing with the commentary, David Uzik, Children, how hard it is for those that trust in riches to enter into the kingdom. It says, Riches present a difficulty because they tend to make us satisfied with this life instead of longing for the age to come. It is also true that riches must often be acquired at the expense of acquiring the most high. But pretty much the point was riches help us in this lifetime. That's why I say wisdom and uh, riches is a defense and wisdom, money. Wisdom is a defense, money is a defense. But you know, wisdom is the most glorious thing pretty much. Yeah. Wisdom better than gold and silver mm -hmm. and, and, and riches. Right. Because riches popping out in the day of his wrath, you know. Mm -hmm. People need to join the brother Carl. Ah, my bad. Mm -hmm. It's Matthew 6 and 33. It says, Be, but seek ye first the kingdom of the Most High and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Why, right, just like King Solomon. Mm -hmm. He asked for wisdom. And the Most High gave him everything. Right. You see? Mm -hmm. But in order for you to receive everything, you gotta seek the Lord first. It was the Psalm you know? 8 chapter. And I gotta preach so. uh -huh. This Proverbs was 23. I'm not sure we brought this out. Proverbs <laughs> uh, 23 and uh, 4. Labor not to be rich, cease from thy own wisdom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. With Labor not to be rich, man. <laughs> Labor 
for what did it say? Label for the uh, damn that pre step. I got it. I'm keep going on this thing. It said, "Would thou sit thy eyes upon that which is not? For riches suddenly make themselves wings; they fly away as an eagle towards heaven." And the NLT starting verse four, Proverbs twenty three and four. Don't wear yourself out trying to get rich. You got this nigga fit to get rich or die trying. Right. That's the dumbest saying ever, man. You know, I don't get tired. And the scriptures tell us that, man. <laughs> Also in the book of Sarai, it said, Don't weigh yourself out trying to get rich. Be wise enough to know when to quit. And we come to what? Revelation 13 and 16. Right. You just, if you still trying to get rich in that day, you're going to take the MOTB the, or RFID and playing grain of rice, yeah. and you're going to be destroyed because you want to chase the bag that bad. Yeah. Right. Now, knowing that the bag is vanishing to a digital currency, man, and it's going to be on that, that device. They could be implanted under your skin or your forehead, man. We know the penalty of that. So be wise enough to know when to quit. In the blink of an eye, wealth disappears, for it will sprout wings and fly away like an eagle, man. Right, you can't take it with you. Yeah. Nor bury it in the sand yep. or dirt. Mm -hmm. Hey, I got it. This is Proverbs 10 and 16. The labor of the righteous tendeth to life, yep. and the fruit of the wicked to sin. Ooh, you see, hey, we we going to labor... To obtain righteousness, man, true life for the kingdom that's to come. All right, we're not laboring for <laughs> yeah. bullshit. Pretty hey, much. Can you jump to two, two and nine. Yeah, it is. Two. It's Proverbs two, ten and two. Ten and two. Yep. Treasures of wickedness profit of nothing. It's profit of nothing. <laughs> Go ahead. But righteousness delivered from them. Mm -hmm. what right living can deliver you from them? Can save your life by right living. Righteous living can save you, man. Can uh, can grant you everlasting life. Right living, and mm -hmm. that's what through the spirit power of Yahweh and Messiah, we're hosting the righteous acts of the Lord. Fuck chasing the bag. The bag is disappearing. But you seek the uh, Lord, seek the kingdom of heaven. The bag gonna chase you, man. Right. Then when we gonna be under the blessings, man. That's why I said profit nothing, because the bag is gonna be digital. Exactly. Then you're gonna have, then you're gonna have to have Revelation 13 and 16 in your hand to even purchase, buy, sell, or do anything. So man, you gonna you gonna need wisdom, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's basically what wisdom is talking about. That's the last one. Go ahead, go ahead. This is Sirach eleven and twenty one, and it says, "Marvel not at the works of sinners, Ooh, yeah. but yeah. trust in the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, and abide in thy labor." That what labor? Hey, the labor that He has set up for us to do, man. Hey, the what the uh, the commandments? All right, what we should do the what to um. To avoid punishments, man. That labor, all right? For it is an easy thing in the sight of the Lord on the sudden to make a poor man rich. Man. Come on, man. It's easy for you to, you know what I'm saying, the Lord for him to have a, you to go in the store buy a lottery ticket or anything, something like that, to find some money or to come up on something or invest in something, man. It's easy for the Lord to put on your spirit. But first, you got to be willing to chase him, not the bad. All right, that's what we got to put in our mind. All right, when times get hard, when that fire get, get the get the uh, rising and heating up on us, hey, man, we supposed to trust in the Lord all the time, man. All right, we know money is a defense, right. but, hey, man, what, what you're doing for that money uh, counts, man. Yeah, because right. that alone lets you know it's easy for the Lord to make a poor man. Come, Come on. Crazy. So why are we poor then? Right, Obviously, he wants us to be poor for our, for our punishment, for our right. iniquity. Yes, and plus, it's not the time yet. Yep. Like you were saying, he can make you purchase a lot of ticket and hit. Yeah. He's not gonna test the shit out you. But guess what? He's, you there? Yep. You know, yeah, yeah. he can come you across the money. He, you know, uh, in the woods or something. Yeah. man. You yeah. see? Yeah. Uh, it's easy for the Lord to make a poor man rich. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's easy for a rich man to become poor. Yeah. Look what he did in Nebuchadnezzar. Right. Yeah. You see, we, we turn the most able in the kingdom, my man. Yeah. At the end of the day. But I got a quick one now. This is a rock that a one and one. Watching for witches consuming the flesh. Mm. And the kid that will drive away sleep. Right. He'll be having bags of coals under their eyes. Yeah, trying, to, uh, trying to look, trying to be rich up all night. Like the brother said, I don't get tired. Yeah. Yeah, that nigga. <laughs> then I'm going to jump to six. I'm going to read five. It said, he that love it gold should not be justified. Mm -hmm. And he that follow corruption should have enough to love. Mm -hmm. Gold had been the one of many. And the destruction was present. Right. Or, mm -hmm. 
it comes close and hold. This the pleasure of life, right? Yeah. All that leads to death, man. Hey, this in the GNT, uh, so I got one five. <laughs> Movie one the GMT. Worrying about money will make you lose weight and lose sleep. Damn. Then it said five. No one who loves money can be judged innocent. His efforts to get rich have led him to, into sin. It said money. It said many people have been warned because of money, brought face to face with disaster. Money is a trap for those who are fascinated by it. A trap that every fool falls into. Mm -hmm. Damn. What to say? Marvel not at the works of sinners. Marvel and fascinated is the same word. Yeah. You bear all, man. Look how they live and look how they look. Yeah. Look. That word, that key word. Yeah. Look. Yeah. Look. Mm -hmm. Hey, you crazy. You, you, hey, you conjuring up a demon, goddamn. <laughs> hey, keep going. They say, a person who gets rich. Without mm. sinfully chasing after money is fortunate. Uh. Do you know anyone like that? If, <laughs> if so, if so, we would congratulate him for performing a miracle that no one else has ever has ever been able to do. Come on, yeah, man. that's it right there. That's cold. <laughs> that's what uh, Apostle Gabar said recently. Uh, not recent, but like last year, he said, "Man, if you want to be rich, you pretty much got to sell out." You, you got a real deal sell out. Something is required of you. Morals, principles, yeah, woman, yeah, mama. Yeah, Somebody yeah. gonna you gonna give up some. Yeah. Your manhood, baby. Yeah, he saw right. A sacrifice. Every God requires a sacrifice. <laughs> right. You know? Damn, but that that say, yeah. says a lot right there, man. Yeah. Great the kingdom ever. Boy. Man. <laughs> The leg gonna get everything, cause we ain't chasing it the bag on this side. We chasing wisdom. We chasing it how about your mouth shot? And that bad lead to destruction. Yeah. So this Solomon. is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 8, starting at the top. Wisdom reaching from one end to another mightily, mm -hmm. and sweetly doeth she order Keep all things. Solomon 8 in the I, GNT. I love her and sought her out one through five. from my youth. Right. I desire to make her my spouse. Right, we have a desire for wisdom, man. Make her my wife, man. This my woman. This my Sophia, man. You see, she ain't no disappointment unto me. Money, trusting in riches, hey, that's a disappointment, man. Yeah. This should destroy you with a sword destruction. Yeah. Uh, hey, if I add, no. uh, so like, I was just going to say real quick, if I had my ad, Jake Love saying what, that they married to the money. Right. Yeah. Hey, the scripture, Solomon clearly saying, man, you want to be in spouse or married to wisdom, man. Yeah, man, that's beautiful. <laughs> Wisdom bringing to a kid. Right. Shit, look at Franklin Saint. Yeah. <laughs> well, you get all that money, now you done cussed your mother out, you done tried to kill your homie, you done Simply. tried to... Simply. You yeah. got a sinful... Now, now it's, everybody got to die because you ain't got it. <laughs> That's self-centered. You know? Uh, back, jumping back in Wisdom Solomon 8, finished off 2. I desired to make her my spouse, and I was a lover of her beauty. Ooh. And that... She is uh, uh is conversed with God. She magnified her nobility. Yeah, the Lord of all things Himself love her. Right, yes. and the Lord loved none but Him that dwell with wisdom. Come on, not God. Him that had one point five million, yes. six point seven million. Not Him that bought the track hawk. The Lord in love with Him that love that loves wisdom, man. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, if you got the wisdom of the Lord, you understand that this shit is not. A, uh, a requirement. What's required of you is faith. Yeah. Okay. James two and fifteen. Yeah. Okay. Chose the poor of this world, rich in faith. Yeah. Hey, even the Lord, what He said, He became rich. I said, well, He, he made, became poor. Made, made poor. He became poor. Yeah. It's like it's like a yeah. But hey, wisdom what the beginning of knowledge. What the fear? Of, the yeah. Beginning of fearing the Lord, wisdom. Verse verse four finishing now. For she is uh, pure pure to the mysterious of the knowledge of the most high and a lover of his works. Mm -hmm. If riches be a possession to be desired in this life, what is richer than wisdom that work of all things? And just read Wisdom of Solomon 8 and 5 in the in the, in the, in the NLT, I mean GNT. Bro. Yeah, Wisdom of Solomon 8 and 5 GNT. Mm -hmm. Is it good to have riches in this life? Is it good? Pay attention. Only wisdom going to... you going to consider that if you got the wisdom and knowledge of your about Shema Bashah. Yeah. Look how Kanye West look right now. Wearing ski masks in public and shit. You know, he looks stupid. An average nigga doing that. Just an average yeah. nigga. I, yeah, but you know. Yeah. But he more he demonic with it. Yeah. 
But then, hey, like brother say, yeah, Jake yeah. too. Yeah. Jake out here doing it. Jake smoking weed, counting money, flexing it, smoking weed. Now you got here that young boy, he smoking cigarettes. <laughs> Drinking a <laughs> four loco. <laughs> it is, 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 that, look, read that first part again. Is it, this is a question too. It's a, yeah. Is it good to have riches in this life? Right. Nothing, about yeah, nothing can make you richer than wisdom. Right. Who makes everything function. Right. Man, keep going. Keep going. Is knowledge a useful thing to have? <laughs> question. Nothing is better than wisdom who has given shape to everything that exists. Mm. Keep going. Do you love justice? Right. All the virtues are the result of wisdom work. Mm -hmm. Justice and courage, self-control and understanding. Life can offer us nothing more viable than these. Than these. <laughs> that's it. Right, that's it. Riches is not a desirement. You know, wisdom and knowledge is gonna be the stability of our time. You can get that. I'll just end it off with that one. Isaiah six, uh, thirty-three and six. 33 and six just end it off with that. But that's the conclusion of the whole matter. That's what's gonna keep you stable. Wisdom, man. This is Isaiah chapter thirty-three and verse six. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. Right. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shai, is his treasure. That's true money, fear. Yeah. That's what the Lord coming to collect. Those that fear him and obey him. Yeah. You know? Not the not the losers and the riches of this world. You know, desires of this life. Yeah. But that's all that we have. Lord willing, you be edified. We're going to give all praise and glory to Yahweh. Double honors to the elders and the apostles for teaching us this truth. And bless to the brothers, pushing the word throughout the four corners. Hey, DTA, man. DTA. Shalom. Shalom.